terrifying moments inside the Senate floor. Oh my God, they're gonna fire on them. After an angry mob broke through the windows into the Capitol Rotunda, sending lawmakers into hiding from those seeking to overturn the election. Wearing a gas mask, Ontario Congresswoman Norma Torres tweeted, We are on the edge of chaos and violence. This is a shot of Anaheim Congressman Lou Correa, just after he was told to grab a gas mask under his chair and get out. As Capitol Police tried to rinse their eyes from the tear gas, protesters were ordered to the ground, and lawmakers helped each other get to a secured location. We got in instruction uh, to shelter in place, to stay away from windows, uh, to lock our doors. We have never expected anything like this where they actually breached the Capitol as the windows that you've seen over and over that they were able to break. Congresswoman Karen Bass called the violence inside the Capitol outrageous. The idea that the President of the United States would have incited this level of violence is just shocking. This is a sad day in U.S. history. I have been on the Capitol for 10 years. I have never, ever seen the public on the steps of the Capitol in the manner like this. This is the group that wanted to yell and scream about Antifa and Black Lives Matter and look at the reckless behavior that they are carrying out now. This is an attempted coup. It's clear that, uh, that Donald Trump is, is waging war on democracy and uh, he is, he is carefully worded his tweets uh, not to say that his uh, supporters should vacate the Capitol, just that they should be respectful of the Capitol Police. To have a president inciting uh, uh, an insurrection against the government of the United States is unprecedented. Santa Clarita Republican Congressman Mike Garcia said that he planned to vote to block Biden's certification. He later condemned the violence, but he didn't go so far as to denounce the president. In Irvine, Stacey Butler, KCAL 9 News. President Trump had